Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. This week's news podcast is sponsored by ElevatorBooks.com. From educational programs and books to unique gift ideas and more, the only website you need is ElevatorBooks.com. This site offers books and materials on maintenance, safety, history, legal issues, technology, and more. Start browsing today at ElevatorBooks.com. This is your daily industry news update for September 22, 2017. In today's news, Alamut Group is providing equipment for a landmark project in London. A city in New Jersey is set to get a new performing arts center. A 33-story tower gets the green light in Los Angeles. And a new tube station in London will contain escalators, inclined lifts, and maybe even ghosts. Alamat Group is providing a range of vertical access solutions to Chale Grove Properties Limited for construction of the 75-story, 239-meter-tall, the landmark pinnacle in London's Canary Wharf. Upon completion in 2020, it is set to become the tallest residential building in Europe. The $5.1 million U.S. dollar order includes construction hoists and access tower, service, and support. Most equipment is being delivered in 2017. Alamat Group CEO Tormad Gunlikstrud observed this is the fourth order the company has received in Canary Wharf and that it is exciting to see continued development of office and residential space in London. Commercial Property Executive reports New Brunswick Performing Arts Center, a 22-story mixed-use public-private development in New Brunswick, New Jersey, has secured funding and is on the road to a 2019 completion. Being developed by Penrose with city, county, and state governments, the 450,000-square-foot building will include mixed-income apartments, offices for arts-affiliated entities, parking, and a pair of theaters with a total of more than 700 seats. The $171 million U.S. dollar project is taking shape on the site of the old George Street Playhouse and Crossroads Theater. Urbanize LA reports Fashion District Residences, a 33-story, 370-foot-tall building containing approximately 450 apartments, parking for 561 vehicles, and ground-level commercial space, has been approved by the Los Angeles City Planning Commission. The development would replace a parking lot at 7th and Maple Streets in the Fashion District. Realm Group and Urban Offerings are the developers. Humphreys and Partners Architects designed the building, which features a tower wrapped in horizontal bands of precast concrete above a podium containing parking and amenities. Ian Visits reports the ticket hall at Liverpool Street Station, Crossrail's new tube station in London, will have six escalators, an inclined lift, and potentially ghosts. The blogger explains there will be three escalators from a large street-level glass box down to the ticket hall and another three escalators and an inclined lift from the hall down to the Elizabeth Line, a 60-mile stretch between Reading and Heathrow. More than 3,000 bodies from the old Bethlehem Royal Hospital commonly known as Bedlam Asylum, as well as old sewer and telecommunications lines, were excavated to make way for the ticket hall, and some say ghosts still haunt the area. The station comes online in 2018. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes or the Google Play Store. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the Elevator World News Podcast, just let us know by emailing advertising at elevatorworld.com.